Captain. Um, thank you, President. And I'd also like to make a comment about the WA election and congratulate my sister party, the Legalised Cannabis Party, for winning their first seat in the Legislative Council in West Australia. And I very much look forward to working with them um, and sharing our knowledge. But on Monday, I was so proud to be one of the tens of thousands of women who came together across the country for the Women's March for Justice to say enough. It was an emotional day, but there was such a strong feeling of solidarity. And we saw women from the second wave joining women from the third wave of feminism. Women from the second wave wondering why we are still marching for equality, why we are still marching to be safe in the streets. We're simply sick of having to highlight these issues. We're entitled to be safe. We're entitled to have respect in our workplace. And when I was first sworn into this parliament in 2014, I had no idea of the type of online abuse and direct abuse that I would experience, particularly as a female politician. Sometimes women in politics, it can be a dangerous job for us. And we're finding out this week that women across the nation feel in danger in their workplaces across the country. And girls are still being abused in school. Women are still being abused in aged care facilities. In my position in this parliament, and on behalf of my sisters with disability, women of colour, indigenous women, incarcerated women, trans women, older women, I say enough is enough.